A manual purchase order may be initiated when a vendor does not have an electronically connected catalog. Here's a repair order requiring some parts that aren't stocked. If your system is set up to automatically mark all ROs as approved and printed, these parts are already committed and visible to the parts ordering process. If not marked as printed, make sure that that step is completed before going forward. Go to Order Options and click on Pick List. The program displays results from scanning the current order for committed parts needed then subtracts any parts on hand in inventory as show parts needed to complete the order. The RO number is also listed in the title bar. If the selector is changed to show all parts, users can see all of the parts for the order including those that are on hand. The next step is to turn the pick list into a purchase order. Click on Create Order to convert the pick list into a PO worksheet. Select the vendor by name. The comment field can hold an internal note or be printed at the bottom of the purchase order. Since price check and order parts options are only available for electronically connected vendors, you'll need to click on fax, email, or choose save if the contact method is to order by phone. If you select email and there is no email address on file for the vendor, enter it now for this PO and it will be saved for future orders. Click on Save and this purchase order is filed. When these parts do arrive, click on View PO and then click Select to open the PO worksheet. Click on Receive All. The first option is to receive parts to appropriate repair orders, which is already happening. The second is to create inventory records where none currently exist. The response to this option depends on your inventory goals. Once you click OK, the part lines turn green to indicate they've been received. You may enter the vendor's invoice number into the Reference Invoice field for tracking purposes and this shows up on Purchase Order Reports. Click on Close PO to finish. Creating a manual purchase order for a stock item is straightforward. The key difference is that it starts from the PO screen instead of order options for a specific repair order. Click on the POs button and then Add to start a new PO worksheet. Select the vendor from the list. Click on Add in the worksheet screen to select the item to be ordered. Enter part number and press the tab key. If it's an inventory record, it will automatically fill in. Just select quantity and click OK or enter the rest of your part details. Email, fax, or call it to the vendor. Click on Save. A dialog box confirms the PO is created and filed. When the part arrives, click on POs, highlight this PO, then click on Edit Receive to receive the parts, click on Receive All, OK, and then close the PO to complete the process.